Hi, this is Wes Fryer, and I'd like to teach you how to make a maze game in the free app PBS Kids Scratch Junior. Now, I've got to tell you, this is a bit of an advanced game, and so if you are working with Scratch Junior, you're going to want to create a bunch of more simpler projects before you probably try this, because this actually takes um, eight different characters and a bunch of scripts on each one. What I'm showing you right now is a finished game, and you can make your game easier or harder in several ways. You can make your dot that you're actually driving around for your maze uh, smaller, and that's going to make it a little easier for people to navigate around in your game. You can also make the walls um, have more space uh, so that it's easier to get in between, but when I navigate all the way here to where that blue dot is and I touch it, look, I win, and that's the, the end of the game. So let me show you how to create this. I'm going to tap on the pink button that has the white house in the upper left corner to go back home, and I'm just going to start a new project. Now, we're actually going to need eight different sprites to create this project, and I'm going to uh, start by deleting the the dot character that's on the on the front and I'm going to create my first character. I'm going to tap on the paintbrush and the first thing I'm going to do is draw my maze and so I'm going to select the thick bar and I think I'm going to make uh, the edges green and it's important that you draw um, all around the edges because whenever something touches the edge that is going to cause it to um, go back home and so you're, you're going to want to make sure that you draw your edges. Now if you make a mistake, you can get your scissors and you can click on that and I'm gonna make this one probably a little bit easier than that one that I did just a minute ago. Uh, in fact, let me see, make that a little bit smaller. That's fine, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with this. So I'll do the checkbox and now I've got my first character. Now you can see that this uh, maze does not fill up the entire screen and so you're actually going to need a script with this. All of your scripts of course start with a trigger and so the trigger block for this initial one is going to be the green flag and then I'm going to go to my looks and I'm going to find grow and instead of two I'm going to make this 15 because that seems to work pretty well and then I'll have an ending block. So if I tap the green flag you can see that it grows to actually fill the entire screen and so I'm going to tap on one of those edges and just move it over to the side and that's going to be where my maze is going to be. So I'm now done with the first of eight characters that I'm going to need for this project. I'm now ready to start drawing my controllers and these are going to be arrows. So I'm going to tap on the plus and again the paint <coughs> the paintbrush <coughs> and I need to decide what color my controllers are going to be. I'm going to make mine purple this time and I'm going to draw little arrows that are going to become my buttons that I'm going to be pushing. So there's my first arrow and I'll go ahead and move it over here. Now I'm going to make another character and I will do the same color except this time we're going to be pointed down. So here we go down. I'll go ahead and move that here. I'm going to do another character and this one is going to go to the right. And I'll move that over here. And now I'm going to do one more, and this one is going to go to the left. Okay, so now I've got my four buttons to move up, down, left, and right. Now I am ready to assign scripts, and I'm going to start with my up arrow, and I'm going to choose the trigger block of when it is touched, so when the the uh, up arrow is tapped, it is going to um, do a send block. It's going gonna, it's gonna to start a message. And you can notice there are six different colors of send messages, orange, red, yellow, green, blue, and purple. And so this up, one, up arrow is going to send the yellow message, and then it's going to have a start block. Now, I could go ahead and recreate each of those blocks on my down, uh, right, and left arrow. But one of the neat things about Scratch and Scratch Junior is that if you tap on the first block on a script, you can drag and drop it on top of another sprite, and it'll actually duplicate. So now I have that same set of characters on each one of these. But what I need to do is change the color. So up is going to be orange. I'm going to say down is red. 
right is yellow, and left is green. So I now have all of these programmed to send a different start color, start message, when they are tapped. So now that I have created those first five sprites, I am ready for my dot. And I'm gonna create a new character, and this can be whatever color I want. I'm gonna make this green, I guess. And I'm gonna make this a, a fairly small dot. And this is gonna be my hero character. Actually, you know what? I don't think I want it to be green since I made my edge green. So I'll get my scissors and let's make it red. So my dot is just gonna be a red, red dot there. All right, and be careful as you drag it around, put it wherever you want it to start. And now I need to have my scripts. Now this particular sprite or character is going to have the most complicated set of scripts. It is going to need to, to go up, down, left, and right, and it's also gonna need to bounce back or go back home when it touches the wall. So let's start with a trigger block. In this case, we're going to say, when I receive a colored message, all right, so when I receive orange, and for this uh, first one, we're going to be saying go up, because that's what we said for orange, and then it's going to stop. So when it receives the orange message, it's going to go up. Now we can go ahead and test this right now by clicking our green flag, and when I tap on it, oh look, it goes up, but look what happens. It just goes through the wall. I can just keep on going up and up and up and up, so I'm gonna have to fix that here in a minute, but um, I also need to add other blocks. So I'm gonna add the same trigger, except this time instead of orange, I'm gonna say red, and when I receive the red block, I'm gonna say go down, and I need a stop block. We're gonna do this two more times. So when I receive the yellow, I'm going to say go to the right one, and stop. And now when I receive the green, I'm going to go to the left, and stop. So again, we can press the green flag, we can test this. <gasps> Look, I can go to the right, I can go down, I can go left and up, but I'm able to go right through the wall. So that's why I'm gonna need one more script on this dot, and that's going to make me go home when I collide with an object, all right? So the trigger is going to be this one here, start on bump character, so when it bumps a character, and I'm going to say go back home when you bump into a character, and then it needs a stop at the end. So now let's check it out and see what happens. When I, I'm cruising along here and I'm trying to go, oh, look what happened. I bumped into the wall and it sent me all the way back home. So now I can't go through any of my walls in my maze. Isn't that cool? So this is the most complicated of your blocks in terms of having the, the most number of scripts. So that uh, means we have uh, our character, um, our first character, which is the maze itself. We have four arrows for, for controlling, all right? And then we've got the dot. And so we have six of our eight scripts completed. And at this point, uh, we just need two more. So what I'm going to do now is add a character. I'm gonna paint this one again. And I'm gonna choose uh, my winning spot. So I'm gonna make this orange and I'm gonna draw a box and get the paint bucket and drop it in there. So I've got this orange box. And this is gonna be uh, to win, all right? For the win, I have to take my red dot and go to this orange um, box in this orange spot. And of course, it needs a script. And in this case, the trigger is going to be, again, the bump. So when a character bumps into the winning spot, um, what do I want it to do? And I'm going to have it send a message. So I'm gonna clip the message, and it needs to be one we haven't used before, so I'm gonna choose blue and then I need to stop that block. So I've got my orange winner's block, and now when it has something bump into it, it's gonna send the blue message. The very last character, character number eight, is going to be uh, whatever I want to, however I wanna say you win. And so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm just going to, in really big letters, say, you win, and I'll have a big exclamation point, all right? Yay. So that is my last character, and I need a script, or actually I need two different scripts that are going to um, be able to, uh, first of all, hide this and then show it when the dot touches it. So we've gotta go to our trigger blocks and we're gonna start off with a green flag and we're gonna go to looks and we're gonna say, 
turn invisible, right? Because the beginning, we don't want it to say you win. Now, actually, it will say you win uh, because of the way that this expands. But um, I don't know. If you if you can figure out a, a simple and clever way to fix that, let me know. Um, but it'll it'll still be okay. Um, but we need to uh, have our, our winning script. And so now we're going to say, when you receive the blue message, what do you want to have happen? Well, I think I'll just be simple here at the beginning, and I'll say uh, show. And so show and... Um, Let's see what that let's let's see what this does if that if this actually works, uh, it doesn't and I am guessing that's because of the collision. So here here's what I'm I'm gonna actually do. I'm gonna make this a little fancier. I'm gonna make a loop. All right. So I'm gonna say you're gonna do this four times, and so it's going to uh, show itself, and then it's going to wait. Let's say three seconds, and then it's going to hide. And I think, I think the reason I, I need this, the sample video, which I'm gonna have linked below in the description of this video um, shows this as well, is you, you want the ending uh, point here to, to be hidden so that it's, it's not gonna show. So here we go, I think I'm finished. I've done my eighth character and I've got both the green flag uh, hides and then when I receive the blue, which is when I touch the, the orange block, it's going to um, basically flash the winning message three different times. So let's see if this works. So it does flash you in at the very beginning, uh, but then that's gonna stop. And now I can play my game. So I'm gonna try to cruise over and not hit the edge. And when I touch my orange, Look at that, you win. It does send me back home, but it says that you win. So that is pretty exciting. And I hope that these instructions have assisted you in being able to create your own maze game in PBS Scratch Junior.